starfish is an exercise that combines the leg slides and rib cage closure. With the leg slides, you're challenging your pelvis north to south, and with the rib cage closure, you're challenging that you, when you take your arms behind your head, that you're not arching your back, you're keeping your ribs in. So with a starfish, we do a leg slide with one leg and we take the opposite arm behind us. So we're also now working across the body, so we're getting opposites to work. So come to lying on your mat and get yourself into the relaxation position and I'll guide you from there. So take a moment to get your pelvis in neutral, your feet and knees hip width apart and have your arms by your side. So I'll demonstrate it and then I'll, we'll do it together. So I'm going to start by taking my left leg and the opposite arm behind my head. So I take a breath in. As I breathe out, I pull in my core, I slide my left leg away and I take my arm, my right arm behind me. I really lengthen this left leg. What I don't want to do is to arch the back. So as in the leg slides, I'm using my core to keep this pelvis in neutral. And again, as I'm taking my arm behind my head, I don't want to lift my rib cage up. So I'm using my core and all my abdominals to keep the rib cage closed in. So I stay here, take a full breath in, and you're stretching between your fingertips of one hand and your feet of the other. And then as you breathe out, you pull in your core again, keep that pelvis in neutral, use your core to draw your foot back, and you bring your arm back by your side. And don't worry if you lose your sock. You, it's much easier using socks for this because your feet tend to stick on the mat. So let's start this together. So let's start with that left leg and the right arm. So take a breath in. As you breathe out, pull in your core. Try and start the movement at the same time. So slide your left leg away, stretching that away, and your right arm goes behind you. Keep your shoulder away from your ear and take a breath in here. Really stretch your arm and your leg away from each other. Don't lose neutral pelvis. And as you breathe out, pull in your core and then bring your foot back as the arm comes back by your side. Let's do the opposite, your right leg and your left arm. So take a breath in, breathe out, pull in your core, slide your right leg away, and take your left arm behind. So that nothing is changing in the spine here. Take a breath in and really stretch between your fingertips and your opposite toes. And as you breathe out, pull in your core, bring your foot back and your arm at the same time. So the challenge is starting the movement at the same time and also ending, so your arm has to go at a slightly different rate to the leg. So it's working the left and the right side of the brain as well as the body. So let's do another one on each side. Take a breath in, breathe out, pull in your core, slide your left leg away and take your right arm behind. Stay here for full breath, stretching opposite arm and leg, take over, and then as you breathe out, you pull in your core and bring your leg back and your arm back by your side. Take a breath in, breathe out, pull in your core, slide your right arm away, take your left arm behind. Stay here for a full breath. It's not so much a muscular stretch here, it's more a fascial stretch, all the connective tissue. And as you breathe out, pull in your core and come back to the center. Let's do one more on each side. Take a breath in, breathe out, pull in your core, slide your left leg away and take your right arm behind. So you're keeping the toes down on the mat as long as possible, just like we did in the leg slides and then they come off at the end. Breathe in here to hold the stretch, breathe out, pull in your core and as your leg comes back, try and get your big toe down whenever you can. You're not digging your heel into the mat, exactly as we did the leg slides. Let's do one more on the other side. Take a breath in, breathe out, pull in your core, slide your right leg away, take your left arm behind. Stay here for a full breath. Breathe out, pull in your core so you're not losing neutral pelvis. Bring your heel back, get your toe down when you can, and your arms by your side. So the starfish is a nice simple exercise, as I said at the beginning, it's a good exercise to challenge both the pelvic stability and also your scapular stability, your rib cage closure. Um, but it also, I use it quite a lot as a nice warming up exercise at the beginning of routines because it just opens and stretches out the body in a nice gentle way. Mm -hmm.